Good morning and namaste, my friend, and welcome to Namaste Today in the Zodiac Weather. My name is Christopher Wotecki. I am the sensei to serious joy. I'm here to stand in my heart and walk in the light. It is a pleasure to light walk with you today, my friend. I'm love casting live in five dimensions on this beautiful green temple of Gaia on Tuesday, March 17th, 2015. It's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. One thing I like about this holiday is that we are appreciating another culture. And I know America has trivialized it and it's turned into a beer drinking holiday. But at least we are appreciating culture. I wish there was a holiday for every culture. I really do. I'd love to celebrate everyone on earth. And I love that we do this once a year for the Irish. So happy St. Patrick's Day. And, uh, you know, I love the fight in Irish, so to speak. I'm actually from Indiana, so that's an interesting thing, too. Another story there. So today, the step of the day is step 26. And in a very loyal Irish way, we're going to make some commitments today to our Holy Spirit, to the part of us that signed up for this whole ride in the first place, right? And we are easily led off course in our life or in the air. Pisces is when we get back on spiritual course. It really is the spiritual time. So today it's a spiritual commitment for most of the day. And then later this afternoon, as the sun is setting, it will be time to act on that commitment or you'll feel the anxiety of wanting to act on that commitment. But before we talk about all this serious commitment stuff, let's first tame our brain, shall we? With the phrase of the day. I feel my heart. I commit to my truth. And so it is. Or truths. You can pluralize that. You can boil it down to one truth. But our truth is our sole purpose. We're here to live our truth. I know we're worried the world can't handle it. Me too. You know, like, I'm all with you there. That's where I'm with you, brothers and sisters, you know. But we don't have to live it just yet. I'm just saying let's commit to it. Let's commit to our truth. Let's feel our heart. It's about feeling it, not thinking about it. There is a difference. And committing to your truth. If you're feeling your heart, you will feel your truth. They go one and the same. And committing to that in the sense of going to stand by it, going to pay attention to it, going to notice when I'm not in my truth. That is your power, really is simply to stay in your truth in every moment. Not easy, like I said, <laughs> but it is our, our power. So today I feel my heart and I commit to my truth, and so it is, I thought so. The serious step of the day is step 26. This adds to an eight. An eight is Saturn. Saturn is Capricorn. Capricorn is when we commit, when we decide. This is how we control things, is through our decisions and us living up to our decisions. But what's interesting in the architecture of incarnation is that the decision is based on the easy going and flowing of our consciousness. So you want to commit to something that you can give and receive easily to. That's what you want to commit to. And this right away exposes some of our Capricorn errors right now on the planet, right? Hasn't humankind always said, commit to the impossible Commit to something way out of your reach. Commit to something that's, you know, high, high, high up on a mountain. And yes, that's a decision. That's an overall goal. But is it our absolute commitment? No, I think our absolute commitment is to maybe one step higher right now. That's really where our absolute commitment is. And see, if you're always committed to that one step higher now, you'll reach that goal, right? But as far as spiritual, mm, getting that that strength behind us to actually get off the couch and make our life different, well, let's keep it in perspective, shall we? We want to make commitments to things that we can give and receive easily with. That's a no-brain commitment, right? And that's a world inner peace commitment. You're not going to put yourself in any crazy chaos if you make a commitment to something that is easygoing where there's easy giving and receiving between both parties or all parties involved in the commitment. So uh, ponder that today as you go about your day and before you make your personal commitments. Looking at the colors of the day, it starts with yellow. I feel what I am becoming. That is the two. I feel the giving and receiving. 
that is the six, which is up in the throat chakra. So, you know, we can talk easily back and forth. Ah, maybe you should commit to her. <laughs> and then this leads to a decision. What's best now? That's another thing about where we're a little goofy in Capricorn. We should be deciding for what's best now, not what's best for our future, right? If it's what's best now, and that doesn't mean we're irresponsible, but if it's what's best now, our future will end up in a good place, will it not? This is what the power of the now is really about. It's not about being bored of our mind in the moment. It's about knowing that the moment is all you got to be good at. Be good at the moment. You got it, man. So today it's making a decision of what's best now. Let's take a look now at our cosmic clock. Here we are at the Cosmic Clock, and Step 26 rules the day. All right. So we're about to cross the border into Aries, and when we do, we will have uh, a birth, a sprouting. Our heart will then sprout into this new ego, this new expression of ourselves. So these are the final degrees of higher faith, really, in the High Pisces concentration. Higher faith that everything will work out. Faith means there's no evidence. <laughs> Now, this is interesting. Mercury, our mind, our intellect, is crossing wires with the God consciousness, Neptune. All right? So our Mercury today is at step seven. So we actually are one with God. Step seven is Pisces. It is the energy. So it's the grandmaster step, the first grandmaster step of, of Pisces. And, of course, Neptune actually is also in Pisces, but... Neptune just stepped up to step eight. So Neptune is now at step eight. Neptune was at step seven. This is fascinating for the whole early part of the Pisces transit. We were at step seven, purebred, purebred Neptune pouring down the pipes. So was Chiron at step 16, equaling a seven. Chiron's about to go also to the next step. But first, Neptune. So what does this mean? Well, Mercury is crossing over Neptune. And as Mercury crosses, our mind crosses the God consciousness. God consciousness is asking for a decision. Step eight. <laughs> are you in or are you out? You believe or don't you believe? Right? It comes down to that. Which means in practical matters of our life, we may go, crap, there's no evidence here. I have to believe or not believe. I have to have faith or not have faith. I have no choice in the matter. The choice is being forced upon me by events in my life. I don't want to miss the train. Right? So basically, you'll feel this, but look at that there. Neptune is uh, Christ consciousness. It is forgiveness. It is, you know, it's okay. You'll be fine. Now, the moon is still playing it cool. It's in Aquarius, which is a step 13 native vibration, giving us this ability to go with, to detach from the situation if we can go with the flow of our beliefs. So the key here is to go by what you believe. Now, Venus, she has just crossed the border over into Taurus. Thank God. <laughs> Come home, baby. Come home. I'm a Taurus. But she's not really, you know, Venus is really Libra, honestly. But she's way welcome in the Taurus vibration, let me just tell you. It does mean things will uh, be prettying up on Earth, and you'll see the, you know, this is when flowers start to sprout. She is at step zero today, which means that our ability to receive is uh, protected. That means you have to deliberately open yourself up to receive. You have to deliberately call to the winds, hey, I'm willing to open. We're naturally kind of guarded, and we're naturally kind of offline. You have to make the effort to open up. And remember, you want to decide based on your ability to give and receive. So be conscious of protecting yourself before you open up to the universe today because you might feel guarded by default. Now, uh, Saturn at step four really is, I think, the key to everything. You see this square, this purple square between Saturn and Black Moon Lilith up there and Mercury, our minds, crossing Neptune, making a spiritual commitment. This is the cliff. This is the jump right here, this square between what we once believed, Saturn and Sagittarius, and faith. Faith in the universe, faith in the unseen. Faith in everything else we know that we can't prove. That's what Pisces is. Everything inside of us, everything in our inner verse is Pisces. Basically, everything, including God and everywhere. And what we've learned on Earth. That's Sagittarius so far. 
right? So today there's fears. There's fears and Saturn's at step four and Neptune's at step eight. So what this is, basically, Saturn is the king or queen of step eight. So the power is up in Sagittarius with Saturn himself. In other words, we must let go of believing the old way, if, especially if it didn't work out, right? Let go of the old beliefs, the old philosophies. If you don't know what that sounds like in your head, it's when you are shooting all over yourself. Oh, I should do this. I should do that. I should. Hold on. All those shoulds are exactly what we were talking about maybe needs to go. And when they do go, then maybe you're free to commit to the faith because maybe we couldn't be faithful about it because we were shooting all over ourselves, right? So uh, actually, I'm going to step up there early. Let's first go to here in the Aries vibration. We have uh, in our spiritual commitment here, we have Mars, which is saying we are about to manifest, in essence, a new foundation, a new ego. So ego is being born. And then at the way tippy top there, Venus is opening us to actually making this happen. So Aries is our action to maybe get pregnant. And Taurus is basically the pregnancy. You start raising the baby up from that point. So you can see this is an ego that's being born. An ego is a new way of acting, a new way of moving forward with ourself, okay? A new way of behaving as a result of all these inner spiritual changes. The sun is at step 26 for most of the day. And then God climbs to step 27 at 6.56 p.m. Eastern Time. Alrighty. So uh, right about that time. And I've actually, for those in the Serious Joy Personal Sensing Network, I've set up a serious alert for this time because the moon also goes to step 22 at the same moment. So it's going to be like, wah, wah, could get into gear. And that is right about the time people start drinking. So I just want to say, be careful, my friends. Be careful. Now, looking at the bottom of the Pisces energy, interesting stuff. The sun is way at the top, but we have Mercury crossing Neptune. So expect spacey conditions is what I'm saying. Expect to be spaced out. Expect to be like, where are my, where are my keys? You know, it's like uh, in your hand, dumbass. You know what I mean? Like one of those nights. Uh, but uh, in essence, in the next 24 hours, this is where we're making a spiritual commitment to ourselves. This is it. And it is in the mind. So the mind is the actual, uh, you know, trigger, if you will. And what it's triggering is us to jump into faith and onto a new philosophy. So let's look at today's joy quest before we jump off, shall we? So today's joy quest, should you choose to accept it, is this philosophy. If it feels right, do it. <laughs> and I know I just probably empowered many births in nine months or something like that. But still, I really believe that's the case here. You know, step 27, which is where we will lead tonight, is emotion next to our intuition. So if it feels right, nothing is warning you, move forward. There's a lot of interesting things that happen in Pisces, which is a lot of faded moments. It's not faded that two people will be together. But it is fated that they would meet up. So what you do in that moment of uh, meeting someone or being in an opportunity is you'd be ready to act on that moment. And you only know if it's right, if it feels right, and God's not warning you. And it falls within all of your commitments and decisions before. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't pull up all the whole month of work. But in, ever, in general, in the next 24 hours, because we're in very high uh, Pisces, because the universe is kind of egging us on to move on to our soul's true purpose. There's a lot of cool miracles going on right now. So uh, listen to your feelings and do it if it feels right. By the way, if you are watched over in my Serious Joy Sensei service at 909 today, I'll talk about what your heart is looking for specifically. That's different from your ego. What's your heart looking for today on St. Patrick's Day? And at 1111 to help you make decisions Something to keep in mind according to your active intuitive matrix, your aim, when it comes to making commitments. And then at 3.03 p.m., I'm going to actually talk about the level your Saturn is on. So the level your Saturn is on, in other words, what kind of an authority are you on Earth? We all are natural authority is kind of one sector of the population. We all help you know, each other lead. But that also means that we're ignoring another part. So I kind of highlight what ends up getting ignored as a result of focusing on that. 
So if you'd like to be in next month's Serious Joy service, it's just $19.95. You can go to SeriousJoy.me and sign up. It's just a one-month commitment, and you'll find that I'm with you all day long on your walk in the light. So for today's tele today's telepathy, oh, I'll say that three times, I'm thinking of a hair color. I'm thinking of a hair color because I'm going out tonight. Are you? And is it one auburn, two red, or three brunette? I will have the answer. Okay, I'm totally thinking of I sent the image. Little leprechaun luck there. What's the hair color? I'll be with that truth right after this. Introducing Secrets of Birthdays. Bow chicka bow wow. Are you ready to find love? Bow chicka bow wow. Your secrets are coming out. Bow chicka bow wow. All those sexy secrets are available at secretsofbirthdays.com. Bow chicka bow wow, baby. So And welcome back to Namaste Today. So, for today's telepathy answer, my question was, I'm thinking of a hair color right now. Was it one auburn, two red, or three brunette? And the answer is brunette. That's right. Did your mind think maybe redhead just because it's Irish time? Well, I'm playing these little mind games with you right now like that to help you sharpen your telepathy. So, you really got to watch what's running off when you ask yourself these questions. If you find your mind running off with logic, you're not connecting to your psychic awareness. Your psychic awareness is offering an answer that does not go from logic to logic to logic. It just comes in with no logic, right? But I definitely am throwing little logic uh, bombs out there to see if you get uh, sent the other way. So yes, I'll be looking for a brunette. So it's time for today's rock and roll gospel. And this week, because we're in the high vibrations of Pisces, I thought I would Go over the holy rollers, that is, musicians or songs or bands that really reach a high spiritual note and are timeless in helping us stay in our hearts. Today, the high holy roller is Ben E. King. Now, this is a person who is a step four Libra, and this soul indeed was a step four innovative Libra when it comes to human relationships, especially in the sense of an African-American doing very well early in the music scene and inspiring other African-Americans for going for it in the United States. Amazing there. But also for the message of his song. Today's song is Stand By Me, right? What a beautiful song about uh, sister and brotherhood, and it truly it is. So, you know, tonight, if you're out there, be the light walker that you are. Keep your eyes out for those you are standing by, okay? But before you go party Irish style, let's take a look at the moods of each of your brothers and sisters today. And I'm going to help you understand where you need to stand by your commitments. <laughs> Way to twist it, Chris. Uh, no, I'm just giving the series for you run for your joy. But before you, you know, as you prepare to make your move. So the way I put this is prepare to make your move in this area, which is also the area you're committing to, one in the same. So starting with the scorpions. Sunny, probably needing to nest and rest, even though you are sunny today. But you are pre prepared to make your move with your heart's desires. So if you see something your heart wants go by, nab it. You know, Scorpio style. Step one, the Leo, sunny and sentimental. But prepare to make your move with an opportunity to change. And that could be, yes, a free makeover. <laughs> hey, it counts, I'm just saying. Step two, the Cancers, sunny and rather private today. But prepare to make your move towards your life's true purpose. So if you see your yogi go by, you might say hi. Don't let him just go by, or her. Step three, the Sagittarians. Sunny and productive, feeling very valuable today, but prepare to make your move with, a, with your living style or with a family member. Step four, the Aquarians. Sunny and cool with the moon in their sign, but prepare to make your move with investments or money right now. Step five, the Gemini. Sunny and learning another day in a row, but prepare to make your move with career or future plans at large. Step six, the Librans. Sunny and childlike, they're in their hearts today. They'll be definitely wearing Kiss Me, I'm Irish shirts, I'm sure, the Librans. <laughs> but 
But prepare to make your move with conversation or attitude. So I guess, yeah, that would be it. You definitely want to wear that shirt or whatever, or you want to definitely move ahead if something comes up in conversation. Step seven, the high bell birthday boys and girls. Happy birthday to the Pisces. Prepare to make your move, though, with your willpower or character. So you're cloudy, private, withdrawn. But, you know, if you see an opportunity anywhere under the sun that suits your soul's destiny, you definitely want to take that leap right now, Pisces. Capricorns, the step eight, sunny and productive. Prepare to make your move with contracts or contact. So, you know, making contact with someone reminds me of that 70s show. Contact is the answer. Step nine, the Aries, sunny and social. Prepare to make your move, though, with inner faith and leaping. Kind of like the Pisces just now, like just whatever your heart may want in general. Step 10, the Taurus is sunny and professional today, but prepare to make your move with social reputation or contact. <laughs> I'm not saying it again. Step 11, it's the Virgos, sunny and hyper aware today, but prepare to make your move with relationships or mirage vows. So if you vow to start your diet, well, be prepared to fall suit with what you promised yourself. So here we are in the Light Walker Parade. If you're watching on YouTube, please be kind and do subscribe. It helps us with our YouTube relationship. And on Facebook, you can be our friend by using soulgarden.me. It takes you straight there. And at soulmart.me, you can join our email list where I'll email you early in the morning. And don't forget, Serious Joy Camp is coming up in about two weeks. I'm super excited. And it's much better than band camp. This is a camp on joy. And you'll be able to plan your entire year. Come on down to soulmart.me for more details. And don't forget, if you join for April Serious Joy Personal Sensei Service, which you will love, by the way, I will give you $20 off of Joy Camp so I can set you up for total success here in the next year. And our Modern Mommies had a fun conversation about kids and video screens, and I think it's a serious topic. So come see how we added the joy at ModernMommies.tv. All right, my friend. Have a safe time out there, okay? Keep an eye on your brothers and sisters. Remember, I love you, and I'll see you in 24 hours. Until then, live, love, be. <laughs> this is just so ironic.